my name is Yan Huang. Um, I've been here for two years already. Uh, my talk today is to how to engineer in modern crypto cryptographic protocols. This doesn't work. Huh? Uh, so in the good old days, there are only two cryptographers, Alice and Bob, and everyone in the world seems to be working against them. And uh, it seems that the only thing they want to do is send love letters. And they want to do this securely, so people don't know what they say in the love letters. And they, to solve this problem, they use this um, very old um, sheaf ciphers back in BC 50, and uh, it's broken. But until they um, use the new one, switch it to DES and RSA, they are pretty content with the solution. However, things become, uh, things change until um, Dexter um, proposed this, uh, um, uh, he's saying that uh, computer science is more about computation rather than about, about, compute, uh, about computers. So this old saying, Reminds Alice and Bob, maybe they can do much more than just hiding messages. Um, they pr probably want to focus more on computation itself rather than static computers. So they could do something fancier. For example, instead of just exchanging love letters, they could um, supply their genomes to, to um, see if they are actually com compatible to each other without actually exchanging the genomes to each other. It's much more useful. And uh, again, everyone in the world still work against them. So one solution of modern cryptography um, to this problem is called secure computation. Very powerful. Um, the central server is actually non-existent. Uh, it's something simulated purely by modern cryptography. They could do more things. Another example is that imagine Alice is a store manager. They have she has an online store and uh, put, a, put a lot of data um, to this potentially malicious Bob. And uh, later on, Alice wants to query uh, various transaction data or um, customer behaviors. Um, so, but he might ask whether the result is correct. Maybe Bob is too lazy and just fake up the reports um, because he is very lazy and a hacker. One beautiful solution to this is called verifiable computation. I've given another example still in this scenario, but in a different setting where Alice worries about the confidentiality of the data while Bob is running a spatial mining algorithm on the data, and they have different goals. They don't trust each other and the rest of the world. They can still achieve the same thing, as I said before, and the beautiful cryptography behind this is called homomorphic encryption. So we have, we have seen a few examples that um, to show that today's cryptography has been shifted from static data to actually dynamic computation. And the, the cryptography tries to provide various selections of security properties around computation. There are a few outstanding um, challenges. One is, although the cryptography world um, provides beautiful solutions, you don't have to trust everyone, and everything is built up uh, on uh, provably secure things. But this says nothing about your implementation does everything correctly. We've seen many examples in implementation doing things wrong and the security is not held. The second challenge also connects to the complexity of implementation because the, this kind of protocols is much more complex and getting interactive. Um, it's very hard to implement correctly. Just give you a tiny example. The traditional, why? Traditional cryptography only take the static message, while uh, today's world use these uh, high order functions. And uh, uh, I'm sorry, this broken up on this computer. 
um, a very quick uh, summary of the solution is that we may use functional programming to uh, bootstrap the trustworthiness of the implementation from a small uh, trusted code base. And uh, we also be able to uh, mean, uh, reduce the complexity of development by um, focusing on computational model and again plug in and play the backend and the uh, uh, applications and the backend to accomplish different applications. And we can even optimize this for uh, exploit parallelism and uh, provide good um, user interfaces. And uh, this is my uh, end of my talk. <laughs>